So listen to me. There are those of you who said, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. Your value system says you are a consumer and not a producer. That you're spending more money than you're making. Why? Because you're a consumer, but you're, you're reading all the books and you're saying everything the books are saying. But those books are not in alignment with your values. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. Hey, how you guys doing out there today? This is Jason Wyatt. Um, in this video, I want to show you how you can really automate your Facebook uh, fan page. This is what I do. This is what a lot of other marketers do. Um, basically, this is what I, I, I suggest you all to do because, you know, it's a lot of time just keep posting it onto your regular Facebook page and then to your fan page. or And then you don't want to just keep sharing it. And, and you know, it, it just look a lot of messy. So this is what I do uh, personally. Uh, I use Hootsuite. Um, a lot of marketers know about it. Um, I suggest you all to use it because you can automate your posts and schedule your posts. So what I'll do, I'll just log in. And then they actually have plans, but I don't pay for anything. You know, I just, I pay for a lot of stuff, but you know, if it's free, why pay for it? You know, all right, so I'm just going to get into it. So this is what you will do. First, you have to link up your, um, uh, your Facebook page, your Facebook fan page. That's exactly what we want to do. You want to link up your Facebook page to the, uh, to the site. And what we want to go down to here, we want to go to publisher. And we want to schedule a post. So a lot of people don't know what to post to their fan page. And a lot of people share their, you know, whatever they post on their regular page to their fan page. So if you are doing that, this what I would do by go by doing that. Um, so say like, uh, we'll go back to my Facebook page. Uh, let's go to see what I post. Um, I got to share. So say I like if I want to post this. I didn't share this yet. So what I'll do, I'll just just copy the information, download the picture. Uh, if I don't think I got it downloaded, so I'm just going to save it. And um, you would want to change the um, the, web fi the uh, file name. It, that's a different story, but for right now, you can just save it. Um, I, I hope I remember where I saved the two. Let me just double check. Uh, it's on desktop. All right. And then we'll just go back to Hootsuite and we'll just copy and paste. And I'm going to let you show you what this does. Um, let me see where that was. See what well, that's a good thing about changing the file name so I can find it better. But uh, there you go. So, all right. This is a post I did. This is the post I wanted to go to my fan page. I can actually send it to my Twitter and my regular Facebook page. And I can add, you know, some more social media sites. They actually have a couple of, um, you know, Google+, Plus, LinkedIn, YouTube, um, Instagram. But for right now, we're going to keep it like this. And it's going strictly to my uh, fan page. So what we want to do we want to leave it as is we want this post to automatic scheduling so we want hoopsie to pick the right time and date sometimes to post this picture um to post this so it can get better engagements see that's what makes it so powerful so you want to just keep posting and people are not seeing your stuff we want to use this so people are using our stuff and it's you know it, it's it's basically it's scheduling it so we don't have to worry about what time we post it or you know how we post it so what we'll do we'll just post just you know automatically schedule it. so you see what time it is it is 12 37 this post is going to go out at 305 and that's it because it feels that it's going to get a lot more engagement at that time so what i do i'm just going to do one more um this one pretty cool and I'm gonna take this photo save it come back to Hootsuite boom put that there uh, add the, add the picture reset right here uh, and we're gonna do the same thing 
we're just gonna, you know, automatic scheduling. So, it posted. Uh, and it says that's 6 o'clock. So you can just keep doing this, keep doing this, and um, it'll post to your fan page. So, but what, what makes it so powerful is that, look at this. So let's go to my uh, fan page. Um, Jason Y Pro. Right, I know a lot of people be saying uh, Hootsuite, it will tell, it, it will say that it been posted by Hootsuite. True enough, it will. But it will only do that to your personal Facebook page. If you send in, if you set up your Hootsuite to your personal Facebook page, it will say that it's been posted by, you know, Hootsuite. So let me give you an example. This is actually my fan page, and I'm going to just show you the little secret of why I do this, and it's been helping my business out. So I'm logged into it, so it say published by Hootsuite. Uh, if a marketer see that or somebody else see that, they looks like, okay, he posted this from something somewhere else. And it kind of, it don't look spammy. It, it kind of don't look professional. Because some people read this little top line because you usually say posting in the area you at, or but it said posted by Hootsuite. So it don't look good. But what the good thing is that when other people see this, see your post, let me just show you. Let me show you. Let me log into another one. To go back to the page, go back to my fan page. All right, so I'm logged in on a different account. So, remember that post I showed you where it said published by Hootsuite? You see, now it doesn't say that, and that's the cool thing about it because these people think that you're online and that you're posting it. And they are more likely to engage with you. Now, don't worry about too many likes or, you know, too many engagement on your posts. But you can look at the views of how many people it reached. And that's a good thing. You want it to reach more people and you want to stay more engagement. So, when you post it on Hootsuite, use it towards your fan page because it's going to make you seem like that you're online and you're still engaging with people. You know, you're still posting things. So, you see, it's, it, it doesn't have the... The publish so we go back uh, let's see I uh, hope I got the right go back and you see when I scroll down and you see it says that so that's how powerful it is so it'll make it seem that you're online and then it posts automatically for you to the right time so um if you are marketed out there uh please use this because this could save so much time about keep you know rather than okay i just posted on my facebook page let me send it to my fan page you can just copy what you did send it to hootsuite hootsuite would just you know automate it and make sure you know and send it to like the best time for it and then you know you can also do groups um uh, let me see uh, now nah. you can also post in groups as well uh, let me see but you have to just add your groups up here if you add your groups uh you go to facebook and you can put uh, hmm, now nah, this is where I want to see my stuff. Where can I post in groups? Hmm. I guess you have to add the network. Go to Facebook and you see where it says groups. You just connect with your Facebook and put the groups in that you want to uh, post to. And also Hootsuite has a paid version. You can look at the paid version. I'm not going to get into it because I don't use the paid version. Uh, but this helps me out very much to automate my business and um, keep it going. So I hope y'all y'all found value in that. Uh, like, like I said again, this is Hootsuite, use it, uh, it's very powerful. So if you found value, value, value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't find it valuable, please give it a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, share with your team, and I'll see y'all on the next video. All right, peace.